Hi everyone, my name is Anna. I'm a fitness specialist at the Canada Games Center, and today I'm gonna to take you through a plank workout. So this workout includes a small warm-up. Then we're gonna do about 10 minutes of a plank-based workout. We're gonna do five minutes of stretching afterwards, specifically for the lower back. Uh, so what, uh, what you'll need is either a mat or just a comfortable place to sit and do your planks from. Before we actually get started with the workout and the warm up, I just wanted to go over proper plank position. So we're gonna be doing a variety of different planks, some on our front, some on our side. So just a reminder, when you're in a plank position, you wanna have a nice straight line from your head all the way down to your toes. So your eyes should be looking about three feet in front of you. I don't wanna see any of this. Hips should not be up, hips should be down and in line, but they should also not be too low, so there's no arching in the back. Also a reminder that if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can always go down onto your knees. Just keeping in mind that I still have this nice straight line, hands are still right under the shoulders, and straight line from my knees all the way down up to my head. For a side plank position, we're gonna be, have some on our hands, some down on our elbows, I'll just demo down from the elbows. You can be up on your feet like so. Again, nice straight line, head, pelvis, feet, making sure that my pelvis is perpendicular to the ground so I'm not letting it tip forward like that or back like that. And again, if you wanna make it easier, drop that bottom knee down. My top foot is still supporting on the mat, but it's definitely a little bit easier. I'm still keeping this nice straight line. So with that in mind, we're gonna get into our warm up. So. If you have a mat, have you step up to the top of the mat. We'll start by just inhaling the arms up. Exhaling to hinge forward, hips push back. Inhaling into our half lift, nice flat back. Exhaling the hands down. Bending the knees, palms coming to the mat. Stepping the feet back. Just hang out in this nice little plank for a couple seconds. Feeling it out. Make sure your hips are in line. Again, option to drop the knees down at any time with any of these planks. Eyes are looking about three feet in front of you. One more inhale. And on the exhale, everyone drop the knees down. Bring those hands back. So our hands are right under our shoulders, our knees are right under our hips. We're just gonna go through some cat-cow to warm up the spine a little bit more. So inhaling, pulling the belly button down, eyes can come up, shoulder blades coming down the back. Exhaling, pushing the spine up to the ceiling, eyes come down. Inhaling, belly button down, eyes up. Exhaling, contracting the core, pushing the spine up to the ceiling. One more here, inhaling down. Exhaling up. Finding a nice neutral spine, so a slight curve in the lower back. We're gonna go through some bird dogs next. Again, just warming up the core. So exhaling to extend opposite arm and leg, driving the heel into the back wall, holding for a second, and then bringing hand and knee back down. Switching sides, exhaling to extend, driving the heel back. Inhaling down. Exhale, extend. Feeling your core tighten a little bit as you extend. Helping stabilize. Whenever we exhale, we wanna feel our core engage. Know that it is helping to stabilize our limbs as they're moving. And last one. And down. From here, find your palms a little bit ahead of you. Curl those toes. Push up into a downward dog. So hips are high. From here, you can pedal the feet out a little bit if you like. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna shift those hips forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Feel free to adjust your feet or your hands. Coming into a nice straight plank. Inhaling the hips back up. Exhaling, feeling the core contract, shifting forward. Inhaling back up. One more here, exhaling, shift forward. Inhaling up. From here, exhale forward again. Drop those knees down. We're just gonna come into a side plank, last little bit of the warm up. So we're gonna shift 
from side to side in our side plank, starting with right hand down. Arm can reach up or be on the hip. Again, option to bring that knee down at any time. And on your next exhale, we're going to bring the other forearm down to the ground. We're going to roll over onto our other side. Again, knee can be down or up. Nice straight line. We're going to roll over to the first side. And one more roll over to the second side. Rolling back to center. Drop those knees down, and we can come back up. All right, so warm-up is done. You should feel a little bit warm, maybe be a little bit out of breath. And we're going to start into our actual plank workout. So what we're going to do is we have two different kinds of planks per round. We're going to be doing them for 30 seconds each, uh, per side if applicable. Uh, after that, we're going to take a 30 second rest. So I've got a timer on my phone. You can just follow along with me. Or if you want, uh, there, in the description, there will be a um, copy of the workout. You can just look at that and get your own timer and do it on your own. So we're starting with a high front plank, holding for 30 seconds. I've got 10 seconds to get ready. And in three, Two, now coming into our high plank. So for the high plank, I'm up on my hands, shoulders right over my wrists. I'm just holding here and I'm breathing, keeping my core contracted. Eyes are still looking three feet in front. If you need to, again, drop the knees at any time for a little break. If you want even more of a break, push the hips back, coming into a high child's pose. There's about 10 seconds left. And then we're going to switch into a low side plank on the right in five, three, two. And immediately here, we're switching into a low side plank on the right. So right hand is down, shoulder right over my elbow, hand can be down on the hip or reaching up. We're just holding and breathing. Make sure there's a nice straight line again at any time. Bring that knee down or the hand down. We've got eight more seconds, and then we're just going to switch over to the other side. In three, two, and switching over, rolling over to the other side. Again, keeping a nice straight line. I have to look at my timer, so I'll be twisted a little bit. Just breathing here. Checking on that elbow over once in a while. Make sure it's right underneath your shoulder. We've got 10 seconds left. In five, three, two, and rest. From here, we're just going to take a 30 second rest. Roll out those wrists a little bit. We're going to stay down on our mat, prepping for our next set of planks. And our first plank, we're starting with a low front plank. So same thing as the first one, but we're going to be on our elbows. We've got about 10 seconds to go. Take longer rest if you need. And in five seconds, getting ready for our low plank. In three, two, and here we go. So I'm on my forearms. You have your hands clasped in front of you. You can have them flat against the mat. Whatever's most comfortable. I prefer to have them clasped. Again, nice straight line from the head all the way down. Option to drop the knees at any time. Eyes looking about three feet in front of you. Belly button is pulled into my spine. Got about eight seconds left. And then we're coming into a high side plank on the right. In three, two, and switch. So hand right under the shoulder, up into my high side plank. Definitely requires a little bit more stability than the low side plank. Make sure that wrist is right under my shoulder. Nice straight line from head all the way down to my feet. Again, option to drop that knee down, still keeping a nice straight line. Got about 10 seconds. 
And then we are switching to the other side. In five, three, two, and switching hands. So left hand is down. Again, find your balance. Make sure that wrist is right underneath your shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Maybe feeling your hips engaged too to keep those hips up. We want to make sure our hips stay up. They're not sagging down like so. 10 more seconds here. And always option to drop that knee down. In three, two, and rest. All right, our next 30 second rest. Use this rest and getting ready for our next plank, which is a reverse plank. So slightly different. Get set up in our reverse plank. We're actually facing our chest up. Toe or fingertips are gonna be pointing towards our toes. I'm gonna be lifting my hips up in three, two, and here we go. So I'm lifting my hips up as high as I can. Now if this feels awkward on your shoulders, you can let those lips, hips drop down a little bit, but the goal is to get those hips up. I'm engaging my glutes, using my posterior chain, so the back side of my body, to keep my hips up. We've got about 10 seconds. Then we're going to come back into that low side plank on the right side with an extra. In two, one, coming down, switching into our low side plank, right hand down. This time, we're going to add a leg lift. So lifting up that top leg, just holding here. Again, make sure that shoulder's right over your elbow. Definitely a little more challenging than the first side plank we did. And again, always an option. Drop that knee down, still lifting up the top leg. Nine more seconds here and then switching sides. In five, three, two, and switching, rolling to the other side. Make sure that shoulder's right over my elbow, then top leg comes up. Breathing here. Make sure those hips are staying up. We're not letting our hips sag down. Also making sure they're perpendicular. Again, option to drop that knee down at any time. Got about 10 more seconds left. Whoop, lose my balance a little bit. In three, two, and rest. All right, we're making our way through. So, next plank, we're back to our hands being forward. But again, these planks are steadily getting more and more challenging. So we're up on our hands for, our, for the next one, but I want you to put your hands a little bit more forward. We'll get to that in a second though. In five, four, three, and coming up to our high plank. So from here, if you'd like, you can stay here. If you want to make it more challenging, you're going to step your hands forward. I'm still keeping a nice straight line from my head all the way down to my feet. But now, a little bit more challenging, make it even more challenging, hands go forward more. I got 10 more seconds going. I got a little bit of a shake happening. In five, three, two, and rest from here down into our side plank variety right away. Difference is, instead of lifting the top leg, this time we're lifting the bottom leg. So we are lifting that bottom leg as high as we can. Make sure those hips stay perpendicular. If you want, you can drop the other knee down. It's a little more awkward. Your hips might come back just slightly. So you can stay up on your feet. It'll be easier. Five more seconds, then we're switching sides. In two, one, and rolling over. Left arm down. So the foot that I'm lifting up is on the front side. So notice my back leg is the one that's staying down. My front leg is lifting up. About 15 more seconds. Just 
breathing. 10. In three, two, and rest. All right, we have one more round. This final round, we're doing four planks. Two varieties on each side. First one, we're gonna be low plank. We're gonna be reaching one hand forward. Still got 10 seconds to rest though. So these are our last four planks. In five, three, two, and here we go. So feet nice and wide on my forearm. Right hand is gonna reach forward. I'm just holding here. I moved my left elbow a little bit over so it's more centered. And I'm trying to keep my hips as still as possible. So not letting my hips open up to the side. Again, option to drop the knees down at any time. Making sure the knees stay nice and wide though. Got 10 more seconds. And then we're immediately going into the other side. In four, three, and switching. So right arm is down, left arm is reaching forward. Again, option to drop the knees down at any time. And I'm making sure that my hips are staying in line. I'm not letting myself open up to the side like so. 15 seconds left. Then we're moving right into another variety where we're picking up one foot. In five, three, two, and switching. So still down on the forearms. This time my right knee is coming up towards my right elbow. So kind of like a Spider-Man. So I'll face front for a second. So it's like that. I'm just holding this position. Again, option to drop that back knee down. Make it a little easier. We've got 10 seconds left. Still just holding, holding, holding. In three, two, and bringing that leg back. Switching sides. So again, bringing that left knee up towards the left elbow. Option to drop that right knee down. Got 15 seconds left. Just holding and breathing, feeling your core contract. In five, three, two, and rest. Excellent. That was our plank workout. Take a couple deep breaths, and then we're just gonna go through some stretches. So, while we're resting, while we're breathing, just roll out the wrists a little bit. We did spend a lot of time on our wrists. So just rolling them around, loosening things up. Maybe head goes side to side as well. Excellent. Now, heart rate's come down a little bit. We're gonna start into our stretches. So we're gonna start on our backs with right knee pulled into your chest. So these are stretches that you can do to relax the lower back or if you have any kind of lower back pain, these stretches might be able to help ease that a little bit. With any of these stretches, we wanna make sure we're holding them only at a mild discomfort we want to hold them for about 30 seconds-ish. Big deep breaths. Do one more inhale here. And exhale to switch. Just switching legs. Right leg extended, left knee into the chest. So when we're stretching for lower back, we want to make sure that we include stretches for our glutes and our hamstrings too, as those muscles can insert 
and attach into areas in the lower back as well. So sometimes lower back pain can be attributed to glute or hamstring tightness. One more inhale here. Exhale, lower that left foot down. From here, we're going to flex the right foot, cross it over, opening up that hip a little bit, then reaching the hands through, grabbing onto the left hamstring, and gently pulling that leg towards yourself. With the right elbow, I'm pushing it into the thigh on my right side to help open up that hip. As you exhale, maybe squeeze a little bit more, but always just to a mild discomfort. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly releasing that foot. Switching sides, right foot down to the mat. Flexing the left foot, crossing the ankle over the thigh, opening up the hip, and then reaching hands through to clasp on the leg. And using my left elbow to push my left thigh away from me. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly releasing. From here, we're going to come up. We're going to move into a seated twist. So I'll start with the right or left leg extended out. Right leg is going to cross over at about knee level. From here, chest nice and tall. We're going to grab onto that right knee with our left hand. Right hand comes behind us. Inhale to come tall. Exhale, gently rotate the chest to one side. If you would like a little bit more here, you can hook your left elbow on the outside of the knee and then use that to get a little bit more twist. Again, just be gentle with your back. Nice and tall. One more inhale. Exhale to slowly, slowly release. Straightening out that right leg, crossing the left foot over. The left hand is going to come behind me. I'm going to start, hand on my knee, inhaling to come tall, exhaling to gently pull and rotate. Again, if you would like a little more, right elbow can come to the outside, inhale tall, exhale rotating the chest open. Torso nice and tall. One more inhale here, exhaling slowly coming back. All right, moving into the hamstrings next. So we're going to lie back down on our backs. We're going to do similar stretch to the very first one that we did, except that our leg is going to stay straight. So let's start with our left foot down on the mat, straightening our left leg up in front of us. We're going to clasp our fingers behind either our thigh or, if possible, our calf. And then we're just going to gently pull that leg towards ourselves, feeling a stretch in our hamstring, in the back of our thigh. If this feels OK on your lower back and you want a little bit more, you can straighten that left leg out. Just be gentle with your lower back and your hamstring. Another option here, if this feels uncomfortable, is getting a strap or a belt, hooking it around the top of your foot, and then using that to pull your leg forward. One more inhale here. Exhaling, slowly bending that knee and bringing the foot down. Switching sides, right foot down, straightening the left leg up. Again, fingers clasp behind the thigh or on the calf. Just making sure you're nice to your back and your hamstring. We never want to clasp on a joint or pull on a joint. So just make sure that your hands are either below or above your knee. And again, if it feels OK on your lower back and your leg, you can straighten out that right leg, to increase the stretch a little bit more.
One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly bending that knee, releasing the stretch. We've got two more stretches. Both of these are gonna be over on the front. So we're gonna come into a sphinx pose or stretch next. So starting with ourselves down, we're gonna place our hands on the mat, elbows right under the shoulders. From here, we are just pushing our chest forward and up, keeping those shoulder blades retracted to pull together and down. So we're keeping our shoulders down away from our ears. Gentle stretch on the lower back. This is a little bit too much for your lower back. You can come a little bit lower, so spread those elbows out. Just reduce the back bend a little bit. Just breathing here. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly lower yourself back down. And last stretch, we're coming into a child's pose. So walk the knees up, big toes together, knees toward the outside edges of the mat, hips push back. And then from here, walking the hands forward, gently lowering the head down. It's a very nice stretch for the back, the shoulders, just a nice way to end a workout. You can stay here for as long as you like. I mean, I'm going to stay here for another two breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly walk the hands back up. And that will be it for our stretching. So thank you everyone for doing that plank workout and lower back stretch with me. Uh, if there's anything in specific that you'd like to see in these videos, please let us know in the comments or send us an email. Thanks for watching and see you next time.